For all of you aspiring data scientists who really want to do hands-on projects, GitHub is the place to go. It is like a social platform where one can find tons of open source projects with their respective source codes. And in this video, we'll talk about our top 10 end-to-end -end GitHub data science projects that every aspiring data scientist must do. For simplicity, we have uh, divided these projects into three broad levels of proficiency, easy, intermediate, and advanced. Also, we'll leave the link to these uh, GitHub projects in the description part below, so do check them out. Now, let's explore each of these projects in detail. Let's start off with a classic house price prediction project. The goal of this uh, regression project is to predict uh, house prices based on several factors and study the relationships between them. Here we use a dataset with over 13 features that include zone, area, build type, year of construction, sale price, etc. First, we pre-process the data and uh, reduce noise and fill the missing values as per the requirement. Additionally, we implement feature engineering here. Next up, we select the appropriate uh, machine learning model like linear regression, decision tree, etc. Lastly, we need to evaluate the chosen model based on a metric like these. Uh, this project will help you predict how various factors affect housing prices. Let's move on to the next project now. The objective of our second project is to detect fraudulent patterns in data which has information about credit card transactions. This is a classification project. In this project, we look at uh, European cardholders' data containing transactions made in September 2013. As usual, pre-process the data, handle the missing values, remove unnecessary variables. After this, we implement feature uh, engineering. Once this is done, we train a machine learning model using uh, suitable algorithms then fine-tune them to achieve the best results. Thereafter, evaluate model performance on various metrics like these. This project will help you identify patterns that all fraudulent transactions share. Let's see the next project now. This project aims to predict the credit risk of different customers based on their financial records like income, debt size, etc. using logistic regression. In this project, you will be working on a data set including uh, lending details of customers like loan size, interest rate, borrowers income, debt uh, to income ratio, etc. As a first step, we pre-process the data. It also needs to be uh, cleaned to ensure it is suitable for analysis. Further, we check for uh, different features and uh, find anomalies and patterns. Now choose the most relevant feature to work with split the dataset into training and testing, and then run the training data in a logistic regression model. Once your model is ready, you can evaluate it using uh, various metric. This project will help you determine the credit risk of uh, each customer. Let's move on to the intermediate level projects now. The aim of this project is to study and analyze the sentiments behind the post on Twitter, now it is known as X, using NLP or natural language processing. For this project, we'll use uh, the Sentiment 140 dataset containing over 1.6 million tweets. After uh, collecting the data, as usual, we need to pre-process the data. Additionally, we perform lemmatization. The next important step in uh, NLP-based analysis is tokenization. Here, we uh, break down the data into smaller units of tokens or individual words. Our next step is to classify the sentiment uh, using a machine learning model. You can use any of uh, these particular techniques. This project can guide you to help individuals or organizations to make better decisions by classifying sentiments. Let's see our next project on the list. The goal of this project is to segment customers visiting a mall based on certain factors like uh, their annual income, spending habits, etc. using the K-mean clustering algorithm. In this project, use uh, the dataset on mall customer segmentation that contains these five features. Next steps include uh, preliminary research and data pre-processing. Once this is done, train and test a K-mean clustering model to segment customers. Now analyze the customer segments to gain insights into customer behavior. This project helps in segmenting customers and targeting them with various custom offers. Let's move on to the next project. The aim of this project is to run data analysis workflows, including EDA, visualization, interpretation on Netflix user data. For the dataset, we use the Netflix original films and IMDb scores. 
As usual, we pre-process the data set, then we implement tokenization of the clean data, followed by limitization. Next up, we extract features from text using techniques like count vectorizer, TF-IDF, etc. And then use a machine learning algorithm like these to classify the sentiments. We may create visualizations using Python libraries, namely matplotlib, seabone, or tools like Tableau, and study the patterns and trends such as the number of movies released in a year, the top genre, etc. We may also implement text analysis where we analyze the titles, directors, and actors of the movies and TV shows. We may use the resulting insights to create a recommendation system. This project helps in analyzing Netflix movies and TV shows. Let's move on to the next project now. This project aims to explore the internal communication email dataset from Enron Corporation. The exploration is done to find patterns and classify emails in an attempt to detect fraudulent emails. The dataset consists of a massive uh, database of more than 600,000 emails belonging to the employees of Enron Corporation. First, review the dataset and uh, any documentation provided, understand the data types and uh, keep track of the elements. As usual, pre-process the data by cleaning it, removing noise and addressing the issue of missing data. Once this process is done, your work is to do statistical analysis to identify correlations between data elements and anomalies. This project is an important classification project. Let's move on to the advanced level projects now. The aim of this particular project is to classify images based on a certain feature using convolutional neural networks. We are using a dataset of Bing images by crawling images uh, data from URLs based on specific keywords. For this, we need to use uh, Python and Bing's multi-threading feature. You will start by filter searching for the kind of images you wish to classify and download uh, them in bulk. For example, a cat or a dog. The next step is uh, our usual data pre-processing. After this, we split the dataset into a testing and a training set, defining the architecture of CNN models. Finally, train the CNN model using a suitable optimizer among these. Finally, we evaluate the model's performance. The main aim of this project is to show how CNNs proficiently work with image dataset for classification. Let's check out the next project. This project is aimed to help you learn how to work with known standard data types like music data. We will use the million song dataset which contains copyright free music as usual, the next step is to pre-process the data by converting audio files into uh, feature vectors that can be used as input. The next essential step that follows is to explore the features like frequency, pitch, etc. You can classify the songs later using uh, these particular features. Finally, choose an appropriate uh, machine learning model to classify the songs accurately. In this project, you will learn how to classify such data based on different features. Let's move on to the last project now. This project aims to uh, identify different pathologies in chest x-rays using deep learning convolutional models. The idea here is to learn how deep learning or machine learning is used in radiology. Here we use uh, a public data set of chest x-ray images. As usual, we pre-process the data by resizing the images, normalizing pixels, etc. This is done to make sure that data is ready for training. Then train the deep learning model DenseNet one-to-one using PyTorch or TensorFlow. We use this model to predict uh, pathology. Then we evaluate the model using F1 score, precision, and accuracy metric. Uh, this project helps in medical diagnosis using deep learning. So there you have it. These are 10 data science uh, GitHub projects every data science aspirant must do. And in case you have uh, more projects uh, as suggested, let us know in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such data tech content. See you in the next video. Bye.